All right, folks, here we are on Trading Up. We've got Vasily here in the house. We've just done an amazing podcast. Check out the link below the video. Uh, he drops a whole bunch of value. You hear his full story. Worthwhile checking that out after he shows us exactly how he trades, uh, how he finds a trade first off. And then, so we're going to see how he finds a trade on the live market. We're also going to see how one of his trades played out as well. So you guys are going to learn the strategy. You're going to see how it's uh, applied going forward in real time and then how it has played out in the past. So welcome to the show, Vasily. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be happy to show how we analyze the charts for your Brilliant. business. Brilliant. Well, look, let's share your screen and get on with it. Hey, folks, my sponsors, City Traders Imperium, have just launched some amazing changes to their funded trader program. You got to check out. You can now skip the whole evaluation, trade gold as well as Forex. Plus, they've increased the drawdown you're allowed in both the evaluation and when funded. With C2A, it's even faster and easier to reach up to $4 million in funding with a 50 to 70% profit share. Click the link in the description to find out what else has changed. So for trading, I apply the top-down analysis, and I analyze first the higher time frames. I look for the zones for the key levels from where it is safe for me to open a trading position, and then I'm looking for the confirmation on each of the time frames to open the trade. And here I want to show you how I treat the indexes. Here we will analyze together the S&P 500 index. So here I start with the daily time frame. On the daily time frame here, what we may see is that the market is trading in a very strong bullish trend. The market is growing, is growing here sharply. And what happened recently, the price set this structure high right here, the new all-time structure high. And from that structure high, the, the market dropped. And of course, the best strategy for us to follow trading the indexes is to look for the trend following trading opportunities. Yes, to try to buy on depths. In order to buy on depths, we need to know from which point, from each area, the market will most likely start the next strong bullish reality. So here we execute the price action analysis, the structure analysis, we'll look at the structure and look for the trend lines for the horizontal levels to rely on. The first thing for us to watch right here on S&P 500 is the key level here on the left. Very strong horizontal structure here on the left. It was the previous all-time structure high from where the market dropped sharply. And you can see that in the recent past, once that structure was reached, we lost 6%. Yes, and you can see that at the moment, the market is approaching that structure. And of course, with the classic structure swap rules, right now that structure turned into a very strong support. But that is not all. Most of the time when we analyze the training market, the high highs, high lows, we may also spot the trend lines. Here, for example, I see this very nice rising trend line. Yes, and you can see that so far, this trend line serves as a very strong resistance. And over here, if we take that high level, from that, we can actually spot this trend line. Yes, one more. So the market right now is trading within this channel, or even we can call that the expanding wedge path. And of course, the support of this expanding wedge also can be a point from where the next strong bullish reality may start. So we spot it right here, the horizontal structure, and we spot it right here, the trend line. So with that, we draw the so-called demand zone, the area from where the next strong bullish reality will most likely initiate. And what we expect, we expect the bullish accumulation within that zone. And at some moment, the initiation of a bullish rally. And you can see that at the moment, the market is already trading within that zone. So does it mean that it is the time for us to buy the market? No, we also should look for the confirmation. We should analyze lower time frames and look for some patterns there. So I open the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, if we analyze the price action right here, definitely we are bearish at the moment. Definitely right here, we have a bearish trend. Yes, the price here sets the level lows, level highs, and we are falling steadily. And paying close attention to the level lows and level highs right here, we may spot a channel. Look, here the market is steadily falling within this falling channel. 
So what will be our confirmation right here to buy S&P 500? We let the market trade within the boundaries of this falling chain, yes. And our task right here is to look for the breakout, the violation of the resistance line of the wedge pad. Yes, we, we are looking for the bullish breakout right here. That will be our trigger. Once we see the breakout, the preferable entry for us is the retest of the broken resistance of the of the channel. That will be the safest place for us to open to, to for, for 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 entries. And where will be our stop loss? Tricky thing about the stop loss right here is to make our position safe. Our stop loss should strictly lie below the zone that we spotted, below the demand area that we spotted. So our stop loss will be somewhere here. Yes. So let's analyze our potential risk to reward right here. Our entry will be right here. Our stop loss will lie below the below the underlying demand zone. And our initial goal, our first target definitely will be the retest of the current structure high. Yes, there we will close portion of our trading position. And the rest we will keep for a trailing stop. As we know, indexes tend to grow. Yes, indexes are trading, uh, S&P 500 is trading in a sharp bullish trend. So most likely after the test of the current all-time structure high, we will go much higher. So the potential reward right here can be very, 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 very nice. So that is how I analyze. Uh, that is how I analyze the financial markets with the top day analysis. And also, I briefly wanted to show you the trading setup that already played out. Yes, the trading setup that we caught with my students, and it is on Euro Aussie peer. And again, everything starts with the daily time frame. Yes. Your task is to analyze the trend on the market and analyze the key levels. You can see that we had a very sharp bearish rally right here. Yes. And then the price retraced. We retraced. And then after this bearish rally, we set the high level right here and started to grow again. It looks like the market started to trade here in a bullish trend. And that structure that was a very strong resistance in the past of course, after the breakout turned into a very strong support. So with my students, we were looking for the confirmation to buy from here. And what can be our confirmation? If we open the four hour time frame first, candlesticks analysis always is a very, very, very telling thing. If we analyze the candles right here, you can see that once our zone of demand, our structure was reached, we formed a very nice bullish engulfing candle. You can see that this bullish candle right here engulfed uh, three bearish candles in a row. It tells that someone is definitely willing to buy from this structure. It was a very, 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 very nice clue. And if we open hourly time frame, an hourly time frame, you can see that right here, approaching that structure, the price formed a classic double bottom formation. Double bottom formation with equal levels. And look what happened next. Then the price violated its horizontal neckline to the upside. And when you spot the price action pattern, like double bottom, the inverted head and shoulders, the, uh, the ascending triangle, it is very important for you to wait for the so-called neckline breakout. Yes, because the pattern by itself is not the predictor. The predictor of a coming bullish rally is the violation of the neckline. So you can see that the neckline here was broken. We closed above that. And then look what we, we, we had right here. We got its retest. And the retest always gives us the safe entry. And usually we set the limit order or on a broken neckline to open the trading position from the year. So with my students, we bought the market from here with the, our stop loss lying below the lows of the pattern. Yes. And here with our first target being the current structure high, we caught a very, 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 very nice uh, trend following 
movement from here and you can see how how quick it was and yeah and here it is just the brilliant example of the top-down confirmation treat i really really like it awesome yeah. brilliant yeah, well look so um is, yeah. thank you very much for sharing this with us uh vasily now what we might do is actually get uh, an update on the S and P five hundred, if you don't mind. So, like maybe yeah. in a week or two, if you could send me a, an updated video, we'll tag it on right now, so you guys can see what that looks like now that it's played out. And Vasily will talk you through that. Here's the recording for Trading Not Show, and here one month ago we discussed a potential buying opportunity on S and P five hundred index. As you remember, the price set a new all-time structure high right here, and then the market started to consolidate, and then we saw this local bearish strength, yes, the correctional movement. And together we spotted a potential reversal zone, the area from where the next strong bullish move will initiate. And our plan was to patiently wait for the test of that area, and then we were looking for the confirmation. What is our confirmation right here to buy the index? We spotted the bullish flag pattern on a four hour time frame, and we discussed that the trigger that we are looking for to buy the index is the bullish breakout of its resistance to the upside. And you can see that the market started a bullish rally from, from, from the middle of the potential reversal zone that we spotted. The price violated the resistance of the flag we see the four hour candle close above its resistance and then we see the retest. And the retest was my entry. You can see that I set my stop loss below the potential reversal zone and below the trend line that we spotted on a daily time frame. And then you can see that the market started to go higher. We see a local bullish movement right here, but then the market dropped again. And we saw a local position draw down. And then finally, we see a bullish continuation and a new all time high on the index. So what is next? I'm on the daily time frame, and as you remember here, we spotted a major rising channel. And for now, a bullish continuation to its upper boundary is expected. Moreover, I spotted one more very peculiar thing right here. It looks like the market started to respect brand new rising trend line. And for now, we may adjust our stop loss and adjust it based on that brand new trend line and set it below that. Yes, so because the indexes tend to grow, we will expect a strong bullish rally to higher and higher and higher structure levels. Once the resistance of the channel is reached, we'll expect one more correctional movement. And here will be the point for us to buy the index again. And again, we patiently wait for the test of our potential reversal zone, the new one, yes, based on this brand new trend line. Here we will look for the confirmation to buy, and then we buy the index again. And many times during 2021, I was buying the index following such a strategy. And you can see that over time, such a strategy produces very, very, very nice gains. Hey guys, ever wonder what broker I use? Well, I use these guys, Hanko Trade. Look, it was a no brainer for me because I was looking for a broker with really good trading conditions and one without any leverage restrictions. Look, also by joining Hanko Trade, I was able to cut my cost of trading significantly with their super low commission of $1 per 100K. Look, if you wanna find out more, check out hankotrade.com or there is a link in the description. All right, guys, we're jumping into the uh, wrap up here. So uh, thank you very much for coming on the show. That was awesome. That was probably some of the best chat I've seen on the show in a long time, so thank you very much for that. Um, before we do wrap up, what's the best way for the guys to get hold of you? Uh, so I have the YouTube channel Vasily Trader, also I have Instagram and Telegram channel, also called Vasily Trader, V A S I L Y Trader. So follow me. <laughs> Brilliant, guys. Look, we'll put that link inside the top link underneath the video here, so you're going to get not just uh, his podcast all the show notes as well and all those links click on the link below the video uh, also do remember hit subscribe hit like and click on the notifications bell and we'll see you in a video or episode of trading Nut in the near future